Hey friends, I just shaved half of my face, you know, just for a goof. Okay, so this week, Monday, I had a fever from midday to late afternoon, evening, and it's, it was not because of a virus or something. If I have a fever because of a virus, there's other things, you know, like diarrhea and vomiting and all that stuff. All right, so I know that's not the reason why. I actually do know why. But then I made a mistake of posting on Facebook that I had a fever. And then people are starting to say, oh, you have to go to the doctor. And then my supervisor and manager got on and, and they're like, uh, you need to have a, a document that says that you don't have a, a virus. And so I know that's not the reason why, but I tried. Wednesday, I went to Suman, Suman Zenso. And they're like, oh, in the afternoon, the doctor is gone. And I was like, uh, okay. And then Thursday, yesterday, I went back at exactly 8 a.m. When they open and I told them I need to just have a really basic checkup where they can make a document that says that I don't have a virus and they're like yeah we don't have the equipment or technology to do that you have to go to a big hospital okay so I went down the road to Guozhongha Yuan uh, General Hospital. And then they wouldn't let me in unless I was wearing a mask. So I had to spend 120 bucks to buy this. Okay? You're supposed to hook this over your ears. And then nobody can understand what you're saying. And every time I breathe, it fogs up my glasses. Every breath I take fogs up my glasses. All right, so that was that was really annoying. So I finally got in there. They had to do my temperature, scanning my forehead, and then they sprayed some kind of disinfectant on my hands. And I got in there and I told them the same thing. I need a document that says that I don't have a virus. Can you give me just the basic checkup? And they're like, oh no. If you want a checkup, you have to go across the road to a place called Jin Ta Zongxin. So I waited for the traffic and I crossed the road and I went in there and they had to do the same routine. And then I went upstairs to the second floor and waited for, it actually wasn't that long. It said three when I took a number, and I was number 11. I think they skipped some people somehow, but it only took 10 or 15 minutes. But then I told them, I need a document that says that I don't have a virus for work. And they said, well, where do you work? So I told them, and then, and then they're like, 
what kind of virus do you want to be checked for? And I'm like, duh. Of course, the big one that everyone's afraid of at the moment. And they're like, eh, we don't have the, the technology or equipment to, to do that. You need to go across the street to the big hospital. And I'm like, they just told me to come here. And then they looked at each other and then they're like, Dude, I, I don't know, man. Okay, so I gave up. Tomorrow, if I go to work with no document and they send me home, so be it. I, I give up. I, I, I tried. I really honestly tried. Even though I know I don't have any kind of virus. I really did try. So there's my goofy story for this week. Take care, friends, and be safe out there.